are some areas well to the west of I-95 if it reaches your area. We have the rain cooled pockets. We have other areas that have not had any rain. So if you're well inland, Vidalia, Met or Statesboro, you're still in the 90s. We're in the 80s currently in Savannah. We may bounce up a couple degrees before sunset and then drift back to the upper 70s tonight. Later on will be dry and that will be the case to start off Saturday morning. Now, if you have outdoor plans this weekend, let's walk you through a future cast here. Not much of a rain threat before 1 p.m. on Saturday. Afternoon rain chances are very low at 20% both Saturday and Sunday. If rain finds your area, you're probably unlucky on Saturday. There's just not much out there. By the evening hours dry, we'll start off with partly to mostly sunny skies Sunday morning. It's suntastic through midday and then we'll blossom a few of these pop up showers and thunderstorms Sunday afternoon fading away pretty quickly closer to sunset on Sunday. Tomorrow's forecast highs with a southwest wind turning to the southeast at 5 to 12. It is hot out there about 95 to 96 degrees near and south of the Altamaha River. 94 in Sylvania and Statesboro. Rain chance is at 20%, so very low. 94 Richmond Hill and Savannah. 91 on Tybee Island and also for Hilton Head Island. Inland Low Country, 95 Ridgeland, 94 Yamasee and Bluffton. 93 in Beaufort for the Beaufort Water Festival. Feels like temperatures. This is really what it's all about this weekend. As we head through the midday and afternoon hours on Saturday, jumping to 100 degrees or higher. That's your heat index here across the area. Feeling like about 101 in Savannah and the back half of the weekend. No improvement by late morning, mid to upper 90s, jumping to around or above 100 degrees heading through Sunday afternoon. And those peak numbers likely come in Monday around 105. Tropical satellite, nothing brewing in the Atlantic Basin. That's the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. Nice lull here as we head through the middle part of July. Your certified most accurate forecast. Look at this stretch of heat, at least into the mid 90s coming up. Rain chances very low this weekend. Now, if you're hoping for rain and just have been continually missing out, I would say the back half of our forecast rain chances go up. These are more scattered showers and thunderstorms. And with that, temperatures may head down just a little bit. If you want to make a beach day of it this weekend, looking good. Rain chances are very low. It's going to be hot out there, though, with highs into the low 90s, peaking around 93 degrees for Hilton Head and Tybee coming up on Monday. And with a little more cloud cover, and a few more rain chances hanging around the back half of the 10 day forecast. Daytime highs will retreat a bit to the upper 80s. You can track all 10 days of our forecast, get the interactive radar and the tropical update on the go. Just download the free WJCL 20 to do that.